गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस ऑन द टॉपिक ऑफ डेमोग्राफिक डिविडेंड इट्स एन इकोनॉमिक इकोनॉमिक टॉपिक रिगार्डिंग एम्प्लॉयमेंट टुडे वी विल सी ऑन दिस टॉपिक द पॉइंट्स आर व्हाई इट इज इन द न्यूज कॉन्टेक्स्ट एंड व्हाट इज दिस डेमोग्राफिक डिविडेंड एंड बेनिफिट्स ऑफ डेमोग्राफिक डिविडेंड as well as we will see some of the challenges including this and measures to improve demographic dividend and what are the other measures needed for this and finally we will see conclusion it's this demographic dividend actual the concept is why in the news is the world bank warned the south asia including india is not utilizing its demographic dividend effectively mainly this topic is related to indian society human geography social issues and economy employment side the world bank world bank is established in 1944 at washington dc usa now the present ceo is ajay banga present ceo is ajay banga why it is in the news in the sense the world bank warned the south asia in india also including india also not utilizing demographic dividend effectively coming to the point why this is why what is this demographic dividend it refers to economic growth potential that arises from changes in the population size structure India is expected to enjoy the window for 37 years starting in 2018 and up to 2055 economic growth potential that arises from changes in the population size structure which refers the demographic dividend what is the benefits of this demographic dividend if it increases increased labor force benefits increased labor force women's workforce female participation in the workforce driving economic growth female participation and historical growth contribution it is up to 15% overall growth these are the benefits and challenges while doing this while doing the implementing this demographic dividend improvement what are the challenges poor human capital formation first point is char in the challenge poor human capital formation india faces challenges with low employability among graduates and post graduation with only 20 to 30% of engineers finding jobs suited to their skills highlighting their skills and highlighting a need for skill development next challenge is informal economy in formal economy informal economy means approximately 216 million people in india primarily in the agriculture sector only our india is mainly on agriculture sector are part of the informal economy facing lower wages salaries are low and limited social security next thing is psycho and social issues psycho and social issues is this is also one challenge means india stands 12th on top suicide rates of any there is also a rising issues of drug abuse among youth so many youth are addicting to drug this is also one of the issues social issue which the economic growth is not going on fatigue and burnout next challenge is fatigue and burnout these are the challenges then how to improve this demographic dividend if you see how to improve this de- demographic improvement dividend openness to international trade and flexible labor laws infrastructure investment 
Infrastructure investment in the sense invest in infrastructure, particularly in transportation and agriculture sectors to improve connectivity, productivity and competitiveness and employment opportunities and promote female labor force participations and enhance human capital. Finally, if you see the conclusion, according to Youth in India 2022 report, which shows that the population share of the youth is starting to decline whereas the share of the elderly is expected to increase during 21, 2021 to 2036. This means necessary steps on the economic side and others are needed to empower the youth to prevent the demographic dividend from turning into a demographic disaster. This is the points which are related to demographic dividend. Thank you.